Now, from Into Tomorrow, this is an ITTV special report. Mobile devices, of course, can be used to control many electronics these days. For example, your iPhone uh, or your iPod Touch, perhaps, can be used as a universal remote control. Our next guest is a public relations assistant with a company called Zero One TV, and they make a pretty cool device that we saw here on the show floor. He's Moritz Kuhn. Moritz, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. Tell me about the remote control for the iPhone and iPod Touch. What is it called and how does it work? So the product is called Vumote One. It looks like this, as you can see. The Vumote One. And those of you listening on the radio, perhaps while you're driving or something, have no fear. Granted, you can't see it at the moment. Uh, but just know that it's here. And uh, I'll let you get into the app for me. Is, is it an app, actually, that, that allows it to work? And yeah, then we'll show it on camera. Exactly. As soon as you, as you plug in the iPhone or iPod Touch into the Vumote One, the app opens. So the mm -hmm. app is called Vumote One, and it's a you can download it for free in the App Store. Okay. So, um... That's how the interface looks. There you go. Now um, Chris is zooming in on it. For those of you watching the video, you can see, and, and those of you, again, listening on the radio, come on by the site anytime, intotomorrow.com, and you'll see what we're talking about. What's really cool is this: your iPhone simply sli uh, sits in the device itself. On right. The uh, it's a vu Vumote. Is that how you say it? That's how I say it. Vumote is almost like a little sleeve. Yeah. And on the back, there's an infrared device exactly. that is sending the signal to whatever device you want to control right. and how many devices can it control and what type it can control 89% um, of all infrared devices that are on the market really so yeah and like the rest 2% um, that are left um, can be learned to by the remote control so it can basically control any electronical device you have in your household Excellent. And I'm assuming fairly easy to set up. Uh, you don't have to jump through it's too many hoops. It's as really we call easy. It. Like, it's really easy to set up. It's really easy to install. It's really easy to use. Like, may I just um, show sure. you? Like, we have a, uh -huh. um, a menu and you have a, a feature called rooms. So, if you go into rooms, um, you have different rooms. And, um, we, for example, you have like an EFA room in there. And if you go into the EFA room, you have different devices in there. And you can add a device, like a television or a satellite receiver. And then you can add the brand, you can add a picture for it. and um, You can then even you name the device, I think? Yeah, you uh, can name the device. You can name it whatever you want. Like we have a Samsung TV in our booth, so we call right. it Sam every time. <laughs> Just the there you go, because you can. You can tailor it to anything. One of the ladies showing us the device earlier on the floor was going through multiple devices, and they were all named different music stars or something. Right. And it's like whatever you want to do. Right? right, that's it. And then um, you have um, an interface like showing basically a normal remote control, um, like the one you have for your television. Mm -hmm. And with a s uh, with a finger swipe, you can change into another view. This is um this is an interface showing um, the scan. Like here, you can scan for the electronic device. You need to find the right infrared code, and as soon as you found it, you press OK, and then you choose, and then you have it. There's your TV in there, and uh -huh. if you click on that. Normally, you should have like an like if it would be connected to the right, television. Right. Now you would have right the now. Obviously, it's not interface. pointed at a television, but right. we we get the idea. It's very easy to to work with. Tell me a little bit about the company Zero One TV. Uh, is this the only product at the moment? At the moment, this is the only product, but we're going to have different like apps um, in the future, like apps that are um, TV based mostly. Okay, so yeah, and Zero, TV is a, um, is Zero One TV is a company that has been founded like two years ago hmm. by Alexander Gruber. And um, it started as a consulting company, and now we are more into application products. Well, then you might have uh, you might have paid particular attention to my announcement coming out of the commercial break about Samsung offering 500,000 euro as a prize for good TV apps. This sounds like a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps you should uh, put make that part of the mix there. Yeah. Well, Moritz, thank you for spending a couple of minutes with us. We want to invite our audience to visit your website, uh, the name zero, the number one dot TV. So 01.tv, we'll link you there, of course, from intotomorrow.com. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us here at IFA. Thank you. We'll have more exhibitors from IFA in Berlin with more cool products to talk about and show you as Into Tomorrow continues. I'm Dave Graveline on the Advanced Media Network.